After the parade, people gathered to commemorate veterans with words from members of Stanford's Patriotic and Special Events Commission who organized the event. There was also Shana Goldberg, an eighth grader from Turn of River Middle School who won first place in a statewide essay contest regarding why people should honor veterans. Veterans sacrifice their own lives and time at home for us, strangers, and for this country. They are the most deserving of honor, sincere things, and recognition. Hence, our gratitude should not sleep, but rather should thrive like the liberty tree defended by our veterans. When the ceremony ended, many veterans shook Goldberg's hand and said her piece was moving. Well, I always thought that honoring veterans was a very important topic to talk about, and I very much enjoy writing, so I thought it'd be very important to put those both together and say what I think about it. The city also recognized the families of the victims of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks by presenting them with white roses. We're here to remember all of those veterans that we have lost, all of those soldiers and people that have lost their lives to preserve our great nation. And we're also here to pay tribute to all of the veterans in Stanford. Soldiers in the United States Army on leave from Afghanistan marched in the parade and were brought to tears by the heartfelt ceremony. We can't possibly thank you enough for what you have done and what you are doing, but we can try. And we can start by each and every day thanking you for your service, for your sacrifice. The community of Stanford, of course, feels this particularly strongly this year with the loss of our son, our brother, our friend, Brian Bill who has a family here, who has a mom here, and we are reminded of that sacrifice. And though we can't possibly repay you for all that you do and have done, we can start. And if I may be permitted the privilege of speaking perhaps for the 700,000 or so people I represent in the Congress, let's start by saying thank you. We are deeply, deeply grateful.